Hello everybody, welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. Today I am going to show how to use user mode command efficiently in Linux. Let me see the usage of user mode command with examples. Now first step I am going to create one user. So use user add or add user and this is my user Linux help. So after enter this command hit enter now. My now no, my Linux help user will be added successfully. Now next we are going to see how to use user mode command with examples. The first option in user mode is the first example in user mode is use option C. So this is for adding information to the user account. I am going to add hello user information in for this Linux help user you can add any information for identification for this Linux help user so after enter this command hit enter now now the information will be successfully added to this Linux, Linux help user now if you want to verify that means you should follow the below command this is the command to verify that the added information for this user so after enter this command hit enter now so here hello user information successfully added to this Linux help user. This is the method to add the information to the user account. Now next option in user mode I am going to change the home directory for the user. By defaultly it will be placed in home directory this user Linux help user. So I am going to change any other different home directory for this user. Now this is the procedure use user mode with option D now change your user home directory I am going to change my user home directory location in where www.html for this Linux help user so after enter this command hit enter now this now the home directory for Linux help will be successfully changed if you want to verify means run the below command so after enter this command hit enter now now the Linux help user was placed in where www.html this is the way to change the user home directory now I am going to set the user account expired date by using user mode command before that check the status of uh, your account user account by using ch now use ch-l and enter the username I'm going to enter my Linux L hit enter now so it will be ch shows the status of your Linux help user no, no account expired it will be mentioned now I'm going to set the user account expired date by using user mode command use use user mode iPhone e and enter the and enter the date when you want to expire this uh, account so here I enter the expire date of uh, this Linux help user by using user mode command after enter this command hit enter now now the expire date for this Linux help user will be successfully assigned again if you want to verify means use again CHA CH with the option L hit enter now now here your expired date of your, your user account will be shown here. This is the method to set the user account expired date by using user mode command. Now next I am going to change the user primary group by using by using user mode command. So now first you check the status of your uh, before that check the user and the group status of this. Uh, Linux help user by using id command after enter this command hit enter now here it will be shows what kind of primary group will be assigned will be shown here so defaultly it will be shown in Linux help now I am going to change this uh, primary group name by using user mode so use this syntax user mode with the option G to change the primary group name this is my primary group name and for this Linux help user after enter this command hit enter now now it will be assigned successfully if you want to verify means 
use id with the linux help user so hit enter now after enter this command here your alternate linux group name will be changed successfully this is the method to change the user primary group by using user mode command now next if you want to add the new group into existing user by using user mode command let me see how to use this so this is this method to add new group into existing user linux help user use user mode with uppercase g and enter the group name which you want to add this user so after enter this command hit enter now hit enter now now the group will be successfully added into linux help user if you want to verify means again use id and enter that username hit enter now now the linux group will be successfully added to this user linux help user now next <coughs> i am going to add supplementary and a primary group to the user by using user mode so use this option use user mode with option a and upper option upper guest g so i am going to add this linux help user into this wheel group if you added this linux help user into wheel group means it will execute any root privilege command in linux so after enter this command hit enter now now it will be added successfully if you want to verify means use id and enter the username hit enter now so here the wheel group will be added for this user this is the method to add supplementary and primary group to the user by using user mode command now next i am going to change the user login name by using user mode command so this is the method use user mode with the option l and enter the login name and enter the user after enter this command hit enter now so it will be assigned if you want to verify means use id enter the username linux help hit enter now here result will be shows no such user will be shown here because we change the user login name for this user linux help user that's why it will not opened now again if you want to execute that user means use id option and enter the currently edited login name for that user now after enter this command hit enter now now the status of that user will be shown here so this is the method to change the user login name for the user by using this user mode command next i am going to lock the user account by using user mode now i am going to lock the user account for this user so after enter this command hit enter now it will be locked if you want to check the user account either it will be locked or not use below option now run this command and check the locked account status so after enter this command hit enter now now the user account will be locked will be shown here so this is your encrypted key for this user this is the method to lock this user this is the method to lock the user account now next i am going to show how to unlock the user account before that you should execute this command hit enter now now the result will be shown here here the infinity option which means factorial symbol will be placed which means it will be locked the user will be locked now use user mode with upper case u option and enter that locked user i am going to unlock now u for unlock so after enter this command hit enter now now it will be unlocked again execute the previous command grub command so hit enter now so see here 
that factorial symbol will be removed here the factorial symbol will be placed here it will be removed so now the user will be successfully unlocked this is the way to lock and unlock the user now next i am going to create unencrypted password for user by using user mode with the option p and uh, enter the unencrypted password i created i given unencrypted password here for this user so after under this command hit enter now now the unencrypted password will be successfully assigned for this user one if you want to verify means run the below command so after enter this command hit enter now now the unencrypted password linux c will be successfully assigned for this user so this is the method to create the unencrypted password for user by using user mode command now next i am going to change the uid and gid for the user so use id and enter the username hit enter now by defaultly uid and gid was presented here i am going to change this uid and gid first i am going to change the uid using use user mode command so enter iphone u and enter the uid 155 for this user 1 hit enter now it will be assigned now same i am going to change the group id gid by using gro up group mode iphone g and enter the UGUID and enter the username so hit enter now now the UID and GID was changed if you want to verify means run ID with username command hit enter now now the UID and the GUID was successfully changed now this is the method to change the UID and GID of the user now next I am going to change the user shell by defaultly the user will be placed in bin bash shell now I am going to change into bin sh let me see how to do this if you want to verify the user shell details means run the below command so use this command to verify your shell details of the this user after under this command hit enter so defaultly it was in bin bash shell i am going to change this into bin as such let me see how to do this so use user mode with the option s for shell so you enter that location which you want to change i am going to change the now i am going to change this user into bin bash as such after enter this command hit enter now now it will be assigned if you, again if you want to verify means run this command after under this command hit enter so now your shell location will be changed for this user so this is the method to change the user shell now next option is move user home directly into new location by using user mode command now first execute this command after under this command hit enter now so now it will be shown the home directory of the user this user i am going to change the home directory into new location so now use user mode with option d enter the new location path here and use option m and enter that username after enter this command hit enter now now it was changed successfully if you want to verify means run the below command so after enter this command hit enter now now the home directory will be successfully moved to new location for this user one so this is the method to move user home directory into new location now modify the multiple user account in single command by using user mode command let me see how to do this here I enter multiple options to modify the user account 
here first I have entered iPhone E for expire date for now first I have entered the expire date for this user and the second one I have entered the info adding information to this user account and th finally third one I have entered changing the user UID for this user one so you can add any other option means you can add here I am going to execute these three options so after under this command hit enter now now the all the settings will be done for this uh, user on account if you want to verify means verify first I am going to check the expired date for this username so hit enter after under this command here the expired date was successfully assigned so again if you want to check the UID means enter ID and that username hit enter now the UID will be changed now finally I am going to check the information of this uh, user account so after under this command hit enter now the user one information will be successfully added so now all three multiple option option will be performed simultaneously so this is the method to execute the multiple options to manage your user account by using this user mode command these are the options available to use user mode command in efficiently and also you can easily manage your user accounts that's all about this tutorial let me see you on another video thank you for watching